Drinks Undressed. This week we have been out and about foraging, berry picking, and generally reaping the benefits of this wonderful summer we've been having. And we've managed to get hold of blackberries, which are just abundant this time of year. I'm gonna show you how to preserve your blackberries um, into a nice, lovely cocktail ingredient known as creme de mur, so that we can continue to enjoy this summer right through the winter by preserving it in vodka. We are going to do a little basic infusion and create ourselves a liqueur. First up, we're gonna take our um, blackberries that we picked just yesterday. Uh, they spent the night in the freezer. If you put the berries in the freezer first, it tends to like break down the kind of like cell wall of the, of the fruit and really allows the fruit to kind of explode into the alcohol itself. So we've got about a cup of frozen um, berries here. In they go. Actually using Sky Vodka today just because I want to use something that's not too expensive and Sky is one of those vodkas that's just super super clean doesn't really have any flavor of its own and that's going to really allow us to express the flavor of the fruit. I'm also going to be adding now bear with me on this one there's something I've been doing for a while a little pinch of salt now that might sound weird to you because you don't want to be eating salty berries but I've got to say one little pinch of salt in there is not going to make this salty. It's just going to work as a flavor enhancer to bring out those natural flavors that are present in the berry. You want to leave this overnight. All, all infusions are going to be better after about 24 hours, but even better still, the one that we've had on there, if you look at the color difference right there, look at that. This one's been on there for about five days now. We've had this sitting outside on the, on the patio in direct sunshine. Here we go. Got a really, really natural blackberry flavor. Unlike something you might, you know, you go out and buy a creme de mur, there's a good chance that it's gonna have some kind of artificial flavors in there as well. But this is just all natural. I'm just gonna put them through a strainer. Squeeze out all the juices that are left in there. The blackberry press. Do a little exchange program where the vodka takes on the flavor of the berry, but the berry also takes in some vodka. So let's make sure we haven't lost any vodka to the berry. It's like bull's blood, it's amazing the color there. Essentially we've got here is just blackberry flavored vodka, but for, for our purposes, what we want to do is we want to make this into a liqueur. We're going to basically add sugar, and we're going to add quite a lot of sugar to this. So, 500, 600 mLs. So that's good, we've actually gained, we've actually gained, gained liquid here, seeing as this one's only 375. So we probably want to come up to about 1200. Now. So basically just doubling the volume with sugar and we're just going to blitz that up until it is smooth. All right, and now once you've blended that in, make sure you blend it good and hard. You want to make sure all that sugar is dissolved in there and you don't end up with any gritty residue. Prepared earlier, already labeled, is our creme de mur bottle. We'll just pour this straight in. Oh, look at that. The color on it is so beautiful. It's not. <laughs> drinking bumbles for the next five yep. weeks. We have got our homemade bottle of creme de mur, which we can either use right now, or you could always you could put a bow on that and give it to your friend for Christmas. How about that? Wouldn't you be a popular person if you were to receive in your Christmas stocking a homemade bottle of creme de mur? preserving the summer for the winter. Anyway, we're not gonna do that because this is Drinks Undressed and we like drinking. So, we're gonna crack on with it now. What we're gonna do, we're gonna make a kind of modern classic cocktail, uh, the Bramble, which was uh, created by Dick Bradsell at Fred's Bar. Nice and easy, but obviously paying good homage to the original recipe. So I'm gonna basically take about half a lemon, We've got a large lemon here, we're just gonna squeeze that in. In the absence of a muddler, you can just squeeze them in yourself by hand. Use a good, hearty English gin here. I'm using boodles today. Boodles are boodles. As is traditional with this, we're gonna now put the ice in. Give that a gentle stir, just to mix our beautiful gin and our lemon together. So we're using crushed ice here. Uh, again, a method that we've seen on Drinks Under Us before. Soup can, pillowcase, smash it down, and then you've got a beautiful little uh, crushed ice. We take our freshly made creme de mur, and we're gonna pour it over here, and it should just cascade through that drink. Like that. 
Oh, mate, that looks so good. Look at that. I'm sure Dick Bradsaw will be proud to see the uh, homemade creme de mure being put to use on a cocktail that he created and made famous at Fred's Bar in London in the 80s. Pop that in the side. And seeing as we've still got blackberries growing in our very garden, let's go and grab a couple of blackberries straight off the bush. Look at that, and pop those on the side as well. Bingo. Look at that. Bingo. Cheers, Dick. <laughs> oh, that is epic. <laughs> 